Since a few years, it's been a dream of mine to buy a boat and sail the world. And I've been watching many YouTube channels about it. In this video, we're making the dream come true. Because life is short and we're in our 30s. It's safe. We flew to Grenada and three weeks later, we're sailing the Caribbean in our own boat for under 10,000 US dollars. Wanna know how we did it? Keep watching. Recording. In the Caribbean, the islands are not too far apart and the weather is very predictable, so it's supposed to be the perfect destination for novice sailors. Anna thinks down here there are pirates, so we chose to start in Grenada. With the winds usually coming from the Atlantic, we would have a smooth sailing to the north and then west through all the Caribbean islands. We heard many people sail to Grenada from Florida or Europe. They leave their boats there safely sheltered during the hurricane season and a lot of them end up on sail. We flew to Grenada to try our luck and our first impression of the Caribbean couldn't have been more heartwarming. Uh, welcome to Grenada! <laughs> welcome it's to Grenada! It's country and ball head. Original ball head. I'm the only ball head man that is original in the island. <laughs> <laughs> it's not extreme, I don't show. Like Michael Jordan. Michael Jordan is too strict. For real! Incredibly welcoming people generous, chill, and joyful, singing and dancing on the street. I felt universally connected to them, with almost a feeling of belonging. Grenadians would invite us to have food with them as we walked on the street, or even paid for our bus ticket. And like drumstick and its green bananas roasted out over the fire. Nine. There were colorful houses, tropical vegetation, bananas and coconuts everywhere. <laughs> Teaching uh, how to make the coconut. Yeah, take it here, take it time there. Oh, so I was actually very close to find low budget boats, we didn't find brokers, yacht world, sailboat listings and the like very helpful. Some of them were advertised on Facebook, but the real breakthrough was when we posted on the local cruisers forum. A lot of people started offering us their boats and it was also a nice way to introduce ourselves to the community. The next step was arranging the viewings. We saw around 10 boats. The first boats we went to see, we went with a broker. They were above our budget, but it was a nice warm-up for viewing boats. This boat was actually really nice. It was almost ready to sail, obviously too expensive and in hindsight too large. It had been recently sailed and was in a really nice condition. Maybe the rigging needed some work. The third boat would have been perfect for us, except for it only had a tiny outboard engine, so we'd have to buy a bigger one and install it, and it also didn't have a washroom. In the end, we never went to see the boat because it was actually in Cariaco, but the owner was really nice. We found a Tayana online and got interested. Unfortunately, it got sold, but we found another one in Grenada and went to see it. It was a nice boat, it had new engine and sails. Unfortunately, it was a bit dirty and everything was full of bugs. Obviously, too expensive. On our dinghy ride from the Tayana, we met this lovely lady on her boat, and she had a boat for sale, so we went to see it. It was a Vancouver 27, and it needed too much work for us. We didn't have enough time to fix all the projects. Maria, Anna. Turns out the boat next to it was also for sale. That's how we met Jack. He recognized us from our Facebook post. Jack's boat was a 38-foot steel boat, and according to him, it was very fast. It came with a lot of extras and stuff, and looked like it was a great boat, but it hadn't sailed since five years, and needed too much work for us. Buster Eep had also seen the Facebook post, and he sent us a message to see if we wanted to come sail on his boat that he was trying to sell. It was amazing, very tiny and manageable. So I thought it was a bit too small. But I actually felt really comfortable in it. And the fact that it was ready to sail was a big plus. Next, this lovely man picked us up in his Papa Mobile and brought us to uh, Pele Peterson 31. We really liked the design of the cockpit and the cabin of the sport. Most of the important things were working, but it hadn't sailed for a few years and the standing rigging was very old. We thought of taking on this job, but it would have taken a bit too much time. Woo! First swim in the Caribbean! 
Caribbean. We hadn't swam yet. Boat number nine was really nice. It had a nice backstory. The price was a little bit too high for what the boat was, in our opinion. It seemed ready to sail, but the owner wasn't present and didn't let us start the engine, and we couldn't sail it before buying it. He also wasn't willing to lower the price, so we left it behind. We got really excited when we saw this boat. It seemed like a great deal. It was huge, it was cheap, it wasn't in a too bad condition. But after searching around a bit, um, we found that the chain blades were completely corroded away. So we got really scared, didn't buy it. In hindsight, it would have been too big for us anyways. After all these viewings, we realized that every boat came with a project, and many of them would have taken too much time for us to complete. That was what made our decision very straightforward. There was a clear winner, and her name was Urani. She was a bit tinier than we planned, but they say you should get the smallest boat you feel comfortable in. On top of that, getting a smaller, simpler boat means less things that can break, more manageability, and obviously less money. I mean, to understand the boat, and more the bigger the boat is, the more complicated it is. That's why you are very lucky to have a simple boat, a small boat and a simple boat. Of course, many times you think, ah, if we have a better boat, it'd be more comfortable. But then you, you, will, you especially Rick, will spend much more time in working on the, all, all the components, all, all the, the items which are on the boat and which are very often uh, falling apart. Huh? All, all the Caribbean, all the things we see there, we see the same thing. And, and you tell, you, you probably spending one tenth or one of the time I spent maintaining the boat, not to speak about cost, uh, in your boat. Okay. But of course, the boat is growing more, it's going less fast, it has less uh, uh, convenient uh, things. Before buying Urani, we needed to make sure there were not going to be any surprises later. We went back to the boat with a checklist we found online and thoroughly inspected everything from the most crucial, like engine, hull, keel, through hulls, mast, rigging and sails to the smaller details and more replaceable parts like gas stove, plumbing, instruments, etc. Rick even dove around the boat to see the hull, the seacocks from the outside, inspect the keel for damage, etc. Rick, this is the boat? Okay, let me finish this. Yes, it is the boat. This is the one. What do you think? It's good. <laughs> we just decided which boat we're gonna get. Didn't we, Rick? Oh, we don't have it yet. We still have to buy it. On. Yeah, we still have to buy it, but we're very close. And we're very happy. I'll show it to you right now. There were just two things we wanted a professional to have a look at for us. The keyboards are originally glassed over, but some of them were exposed on this boat and showed signs of corrosion. So we got a few more of them opened up. So what do you think? I think that based on the evidence, I'm sure that the walls are good and it's safe. <laughs> Luckily, they look great. It was just surface rust. The other thing we didn't dare to judge ourselves was the standing rigging. Awesome. So? Hi, hi parents, how are you? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we have a sound board, the boat is built, structurally sound. Um, so far, based on what I've seen, so I give them a go ahead. The surveyors gave me the greatest birthday present I could have asked for reassurance on our boat. We went and signed the paperwork right away. on how I got a boat for my 31st birthday. <laughs>